Okay, this is going to be about cooler. I often call it crueler. Anyway, that's just me. Um, as you know, with the aber aberration of um, Creative Cloud, there are many changes that are taking place, and things change rather quickly. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you cooler and I'm going to go to the website I'm going to sign in now the nice thing about Adobe is that anybody can sign in and get an account an Adobe um, an account and with that at MCTC you are able to sign into that account and you are able to use some of the extensions that we have in our software now in Photoshop CC 2014 they have changed it to my color themes I believe that's the name of it but in a later video we'll we'll make sure on that but in Photoshop CC Photoshop CS6 Photoshop CS5 and I believe even Photoshop CS4 you're going to be able to use cooler uh, on the Adobe website as long as you have signed into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to start looking for cooler and I see it came in right at the top. I'm going to click on it. Okay now it's asking me to sign in and the reason you want to sign in is because uh, with the sign in you are you will be able to you will be able to download the color um, swatches into Photoshop and be able to work with them there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead sign in now this is not attached to my CC account um, I'm going to sign in my way but what you'll see here is get an Adobe ID and you can sign in here um, you can you know you can have two accounts I have anyway so I'm gonna sign in with the one that is not associated with CC and I'm gonna put in my password And hopefully I typed everything correctly and we'll sign in. Cancel that. Okay, so now I'm signed in and it shows right here. Now, what is cool about Cooler is that in our assignment, I'm asking you to create some color systems. And the reason I'm asking you to create these is not so much so you get to know these particular systems but so when you get a design job you're not stumped um, what you can do is you can explore any one of these and you can come up with a palette that would work for you uh, so right now it is set I'm going to click on analogous okay and what you'll notice is analogous we have all of these colors that are very close to one another. I'm going to lighten this one up just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add this one and um, now if I scroll up what you'll notice is that I can go ahead and I can create a shade. Now the way a color wheel is is created is that you'll notice that you have your high saturation here or your actual and then in through here someplace is the actual hue um, we go from lightness and you don't see darkness but lightness or uh, shade excuse me or in the center tint shade and what I can do is I can darken it so I have a nice light, light color I have a very bright color and when you're creating something for the web, what you really are interested in is that you are going to 
what you are going to have um, colors that will give you a nice range of color that has that has a um, range of value rather than hue. Okay, I think these two are going to be awful close if I go to grayscale, um, but let's just see, I'm going to kind of mess around. Okay, so now I have a good set of analogous here, and I'm happy with that. I'm going to scroll back down a little bit, and I'm going to save it. And this is what I'm going to save. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to analogous. Probably misspell it. And I'm going to give it a, a date. Okay. And comment this is for my you YouTube video okay it tells you what the date that I um, okay classwork okay so we got everything here and I believe I've saved it. Okay, now what I can do is I can look at my themes, and what you'll notice is here's analogous. Okay, and I can either dump it, okay, or I can link it, or I can edit it, or I can get some information about it. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to download it. And what that's going to do, hopefully, is it's going to bring me into my window here and I'm having a problem getting it up okay well um, it's going to be in my folder and I'm just going to go ahead analogous, analogous 2014 I'm going to save it and there it goes okay now it's saved now what you'll notice is, and we struggled in class about how to delete some of these, and I can evidently delete them here right on the cooler site. You cannot do that in the um, extensions in the particular pieces of the software. I'm at eight minutes right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this or pause this for a moment, and then I'm going to open up Photoshop and I will show you how to replace the palette. Okay, welcome back. Okay, I opened up, what I did is I opened up um, Photoshop uh, CS6 because a lot of my students still have that, and I want to take, and I'm going to replace my swatches with what I downloaded from Cooler. So I'm going to click on my swatch panel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little bar here and unfortunately well let's go ahead and see if I can move this out a little bit more and make this smaller okay and let's try it again okay here you go okay now you can actually see it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to replace swatches and it says I'm just going to say don't save Okay, now what it should do is it should go to my download folder. I did not make an, or make another folder for it. Okay, my computer's thinking. Okay, I put it in my download folder. And it should have gone into fall. And right here it is, analogous. And you notice that it, because I named it, it's going to be a lot easier for me to see. The most important thing is to make sure it still has the dot .ase. Now I'm going to say OK. And what it's done is it's actually loaded my swatches for me. So now if I had an artboard, I'm 
just going to make a small one. Make this a 960. And I'm going to call this um, header, okay, just to pretend. My height, I'm going to keep it at 150. Uh, RGB is my color model, okay, because this is going to be on the web. And again, my profile has already been set to standard RGB. So we're good with this. I'm going to say OK. Select all, Command A. I have my marching ants. And now what I can do is I can select any one of these colors. I'm going to use my Option Delete key, and that will take in. It'll it'll actually bring my um, color, my foreground color, into the space. If I wanted to, I can make another. Okay, Command D will get rid of these marching ants. I'm going to bring in another rectangle. It's for the fun of it. And I'm going to change to another color. And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, use Option Delete. There's that one. Command D. So now if I want to go ahead and I'm done with this, but I want to make sure that I am able to, um, to get back to my other palette for my other swatch palette, I can go back and I can change that. So I'm going to click here. And then all I'm going to do is say, Reset Swatches. Say OK. I'm not going to append it. And now what I've done is I've gone back to my original Photoshop swatches. So that is a way, a workaround, if you do not have 2014. My next video, I will be using uh, 2014 and my color, uh, my color schemes there. OK. Well, thank you so much. And I'll be uploading this video shortly. Um, well, you don't know that, but I do. And uh, we'll be uh, talking to you soon. Bye-bye.